After uh, playing with the Arduino a little bit, I finally set it up so that um, using the sketch that uh, Damien McGuire sent me, I've got a uh, 52, oh, excuse me, a 58 pulse with a gap of two pulses at five volts coming out of the Arduino, and I'm able to control the frequency using the pot uh, we got sitting right here it's just a little 5 ohm pot and I can dial it up and down anywhere between about 150 uh, hertz to 500 excuse me 5000 uh, hertz and this uh, simulates what's ha happening on the reluctor wheel and hopefully I'll be able to send this signal to my uh, ECU just like I did using the gem stem in an earlier video however this is a little more rugged board that I think I can actually use in the vehicle I've got uh, another sketch that Damien sent me that has not only the um, 60 minus 2 or 58 tooth uh, 5 volt pulse, but it also is able to take a 2 pulse tack signal and convert it uh, into this 58 pulse output. So what I'll be able to do is put a um, 2 pulse magnetic uh, tack signal to this off of the end shaft of my motor. I'll just put two magnets on the end of it and a little uh, sensor on the end of that to send out the two pulses and that will give me a uh, tack signal that my ACU can now understand and it should let the uh, X5 ECU come on or DME and uh, BMW speak. Thank you very much, Damien McGuire. And here's my physical configuration. It's just my Arduino. I've got it hooked into my computer. I don't need it right now. I've already uploaded the sketch into the Arduino. I'm just using this as my power source. Coming out of... Um, we've got the 5-volt signal coming out here going to my pot. I'm sorry, 5-volt uh, supply and then the ground and then the signal wire is going to uh, analog zero and coming out over here from digital 10 it's coming over to right here and I've got it going straight into my sensor for the um, oscilloscope and then the ground is coming out right here right there and the ground of the oscilloscope is right there I have a little LED that I've jumped off of this and you can watch it blink as I turn the uh, um, pot box up and down I'm just blinking so fast right now you can't even really see it okay this is my two pulse generator setup what I have is a uh, PVC disc here that I've made and I've got two pieces of metal one on each side Here's the other one. It's set up on my drill press. I've got the original sender from the uh, BMW in here. And I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt battery sitting right back here. And coming through uh, this little board, I have some resistors. I ended up having to put uh, five 100 ohm sisters, or resistors in uh, parallel, which by my math makes this a 2 ohm resistor and what I get now I'll turn the thing on, it might be kind of loud so, settle down a little bit see I'm getting a, a nice smooth pulse and it's giving me about uh, 27, 26 hertz 
and I'm putting out about 4.84 volts. Without the resistors on there, I get a 10 volt signal. Oh, excuse me, I, I get a 1.5 volt signal, which is not enough to trigger the uh, Arduino. So, with just, uh, I was, it was suggested that I put a 100, excuse me, a uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor in, and that gave me a VMAX of uh, 10 volts, and I really couldn't use that. Uh, it was too high, and I've been trying to taper it down, and this is what I've ended up with that actually gives me something close to 5 volts. I'll see if this will work. If not, the next step up is uh, taking out one of these resistors, one of these 100 ohm resistors, and I get about 5.78 uh, volts. That may be a little over overshoot, but it'll probably work too. I'll see if this will work. And I'll see if I can find another resistor or a single resistor to put in here. Alright, what I've got here now is the Arduino set up with uh, Damien McGuire's uh, crankshaft uh, simulator program. It simulates a 58 uh, tooth uh, pulse that is simulated or stimulated by a two pulse input and what you see here is the 58 tooth pulse coming out and let me see if I can show you what it's doing and so we're getting a frequency of 2 point uh, or 227 hertz and you can see the two pulse gap come through there every once in a while down the bottom line on channel 2 I'm going to have my two pulse system coming in and I've actually had to take out some of the resistors I'm down to just one 100 ohm resistor so here's what happens when we turn that on you know watch so our frequency has gone way up and we're, it bounces between uh, 999 hertz, 714 hertz, and uh, 1066 hertz, or 1.66 hertz. And you can see my volts, voltage signal is 2.96 volts max. And you can see the little pulse on line on channel 2 coming through here. That's actually my trigger signal. And let me see if I can get this to switch over so you can see the trigger. Channel 2, and right here is the channel 2 data, and my frequency there is uh, 27 hertz. My voltage there is 5.1 volts out. And I'll get rid of the measurement so you can see all the pulses. And that's what it looks like. There's my steady pulse coming from uh, 2 pulse on channel 2. And this is what it does to the uh, signal coming out of the Arduino. So what we can do now is I'll have a two pulse input on the end shaft of my motor. And as my RPM goes up and down, it will actually tell the Arduino to put out the 58 tooth pulse in a proportion up or down. And it will make the DEM in the vehicle think that the motor is running appropriately. This is James from North Mississippi.